Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I actually have two sonnets for you. Um, I'm reading sonnet 27 and sonnet 28 today as they are a couple. They follow up on the same idea, they have the same themes. So I thought I'd share them together instead of reading them in separate videos. So without further ado, here is sonnet 27. Weary with toil, I haste me to my bed, the dear repose for limbs with travel tired, but then begins a journey in my head, to work my mind when body's works expired. For then my thoughts, from far where I abide, intend a zealous pilgrimage to thee, and keep my drooping eyelids open wide, looking on darkness which the blind do see. Save that my soul's imagery sight presents thy shadow to my sightless view, which like a jewel hung in ghastly night, makes black night beauteous and her old face new. Lo, thus by day my limbs, by night my mind, for thee and for myself no quiet find. Sonnet 28 how can I then return in happy plights that am debarred the benefit of rest, when day's oppression is not eased by night, but day by night and night by day oppressed, and each, though enemies to either's reign, do in consent shake hands to torture me, the one by toil, the other to complain how far I toil, still farther off from thee. I tell the day to please him, thou art bright, and dost him grace when clouds do blot the heaven. So flatter I the swart complexioned night, when sparkling stars twire not, thou gildest the even. But day doth daily draw my sorrows longer, and night doth nightly make grief's length seem stronger. So those were the two sonnets. They are sonnets which represent the restlessness of the speaker in the night, when even then he's not free from thoughts or torment about his lover. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye!